ladies and gentlemen of board, thank you so much for having us here today, Mr. Rome. Thank you for having us tonight. Um, we're proud of a lot of things at Weinert. I can't even begin to tell you how many things that we are proud of. Um, I could stand up here and talk to you all night, but I'm not the reason that we're proud. These faces down here are the reason that we're proud, but there's a lot of people that are behind them every day. Um, at Weiner, we believe that it takes more than just our teachers coming to work every day. We believe it takes more than just our parents. If we don't work together with an effort and as a team, um, we don't ever reach our goal. Um, being a student is not much different than being an athlete. Um, these kids work together. Um, they work together in the classroom and they lift each other up. The same as these parents and these teachers lift each other up. Um, if you're a parent of a Weinert Elementary student, please stand up, or a grandparent. Oh, wait, wait, I got better than that for y'all. <laughs> parents and grandparents, you are, your support that you give these kids every single day, you get them ready, you send them to me, you send them to these teachers that are standing back there, and you trust me with them. You trust these teachers with them. You trust my support staff with them. We look to do the best that we can do with them every single day. We walk in, we plan together, and we are thinking about what is best for your child. Um, I cannot tell you the amount of hours that I know that you put in as a parent. And from the bottom of my heart and the bottom of my teacher's heart, we appreciate everything that you do. And we are supportive of what you need at home and what we are trying to do in the classroom. And we know you're behind us. Boys and girls, what do you give your parents? <laughs> I don't know if you remember or not, but little Irma Lewis might be back in the house tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Teachers, my staff, they're a good looking bunch, y'all. Have you seen them? They look good. Every day I walk down my halls and I cannot tell you, uh, they know, they hear my heels clicking. And they know at 8.05, I'm coming. But I cannot tell you, I don't swing a door open at 8.05 and catch anyone not teaching. These ladies and these gentlemen, they're on it. At 8.05 in the morning, they are giving me everything they have. They give it to me from 8.05 to the very end of the day. They give it to your kids all day long. They prepare lessons. They think with the end in mind. They do things that I didn't do when I was in the classroom as a teacher. They impress me and they teach me. Someone asked me, how does your staff work together? They work like a pack. They're bigger than a team to me. They lift each other up, they run together, they hunt together, they do everything together. They are an amazing group of teachers and they're lifelong learners. The things that they exemplify in the classroom to your kids, to these students up here, I, I can't even begin to tell you everything that they do on a daily basis. They feed them breakfast. <laughs> they make sure their shoes are tied. They take care of the other, need, the other needs before they do the classroom needs, and they reach a high level every day. You all are an amazing group, and I don't think that you know how much I value you. I know these parents value you, and I know that in 10 years down the road, these little ones sitting in front of me will think back to the day that Miss Hainer read a poem, and it was the funniest poem we've ever heard. Um, I appreciate everything you do. Boys and girls, what do you give your teachers? <laughs> But at Weinert, these students are the reason we're here. They're the reason that I'm in education. They're the reason that you decided to run for these seats and be elected. And I know that every night, they're the reason you went into this business, Mr. Rome. I know it. And I know that every night, when you all lay your head on your pillow, you think like I think. What can I do to be better for these kids? How can I make a better example? What can I do? And we struggle every single night with what we're going to do to make this district better what we're going to do but i'm here to tell you that things are better these kids right here these faces i'm going to let them tell you about what they've accomplished this year what they've done in these classrooms at Wyant. so without further ado thank you bird you listen i'm going to let the kids tell you about their stars i'm going to let them tell you about their distinctions miss bailey you ready Gordy, stand up. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sophia Vela, and I am a fifth grader at Weiner Elementary. And I am here to introduce Cor Conway, who will be presenting the distinction in reading. At Weiner, all students engage in a balanced literacy program, which in kid terms means we get busy doing what good readers do. All students go to guided reading every day and our teachers expect us to make connections, synthesize, make inferences, draw conclusions, make predictions, and question, and question the text. We 
called our thinking track. Where we give court? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jake Burns, and I'm a fourth grader at Weiner Elementary. And I'm here to introduce Bing Wall, who will be presenting the distinction in mathematics. Mathematics at Weiner is hands-on. As students, we are expected to think through a word problem by understanding the problem, making a plan, solving the problem, and checking for understanding. We call it the UPS check. It is a strategy that all students at every grade level utilize every day. We also are expected to engage and participate in garden math where we receive targeted support to straighten and sharpen our math method skills. What do we give Bang Wall? <laughs> Hi, my name is Joseph Ramirez and I'm a fourth grader at Wyatt and I'm here to introduce Eleanor Cressenden who who will be presenting the distinction in post secondary readiness index four. Every student at Weiner is exposed to the importance of a college education from their parents and their teachers. Index 4 focuses on instruction that prepares students at an advanced level. At Weiner, we not only have an intervention plan for students who need extra support in their academics, but we also have an enrichment plan for students that are ready to experience curriculum at a higher level. My DT teacher is an integral part of this process because she aligns her instruction to the classroom Texas Essential Long Written Skills, the TEKS. We are college bound at Weiner. Can we give Eleanor? <laughs> Hi, my name is Willie Diatrick, and I am a second grader at Weiner Elementary, and I am here to introduce Carter Jones, who will be presenting the distinction Student Growth and Next Two. Student academic growth at Weiner is celebrated on a daily basis. For two straight years in a row, Weiner has not only earned a distinction in Index 2, but we've also finished number one in our comparison group in the student growth category. Boys and girls! <laughs> we understand at Weiner that just passing isn't the goal. We push ourselves and our teachers push us to go as lifelong learners every day. We are given high academic expectations from our parents, our teachers, and our administrators. It is our job to rise to the occasion and grow. And I know at Wayne we are definitely on the right track. I am the class of 2024. I am the Matador. We are the real stars of Wayne. Another round of applause for these wonderful kids. Good job.